We're in the outback, outback cruising in remote Australian waters. This episode, we head across the Gulf of Carpentaria, and this time from west to east, Northern Territory to Queensland. We battle summer's hottest temperatures as we chase the winds in the wet season's notorious doldrums. And with the winds being so fickle, we change the sails again and again and again. Marabou burns more fuel than ever before. And we're welcome to the wild west coast of Queensland. Because we've got to get out of the way. Where tankers are on our tail into Weeper and the fish are aplenty. And night after night we find ourselves in new territory with new challenges ahead of us. See you in the morning. We are Ben and Shell, and along with our salty dog Blue, we are sailing our 30-foot sailboat along the top of Australia called Marabou. So subscribe and come along with us across the top of our great southern land. Morning everybody! We're excited! It's day one! Yay! <laughs> We're heading across the Gulf of Carpentaria to Weeper today from Groot Island. And we are greeted by this. It'll probably take us about three days to go there. It's going to be super hot. Ah, it's too hot today. We'll update you along the way, but for now we're going to pull up anchor and head off. We broke the anchor winch, so Ben's doing it by hand. So with an average of 35 degrees Celsius and 90% humidity, we head off back towards Queensland, which is approximately 400 nautical miles back to the east. Everyone's of course enthusiastic on the first day, full of energy, prepped, ready to go. We were even seen off by a pod of dolphins that followed us for approximately an hour heading off into the sunset. Ben's on watch, I'm gonna go have a nap and then come back on for dinner time at six o'clock till midnight. Night. <laughs> Night blue. <laughs> Can't see us. This is us signing off for the night. The nice calm sea, doing five knots. Hopefully cover another 30 miles. And I'll be on shift until midnight and then Ben comes on. See you in the morning. How are we feeling this morning? Oh good. <laughs> good, we're finally sailing again. Yeah. Ben just came off night shift. I finished at midnight. I feel pretty good, but Ben is pretty sleepless. <laughs> so we motored on his shift and sailed on mine and now we're sailing on mine again. So right. good night. Have a good sleep. So Ben's just gone down to sleep. I'm on the next six hours. We've only got about five knots of wind and we're doing about 3.5 knots. We've got a nice little rolling swell. We saw a little bit of a lightning storm last night, but it was well off in the distance into the north and we're traveling east. We've got a few more nights to go. We've done 76 nautical miles and we've got another 224 to go. No 
how much wind. So we're putting the spinnaker up. So tell them what happened this morning, okay? <laughs> what happened? Yeah, the fuel gauge doesn't work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so we ran out of fuel without knowing that we were running out of fuel. Turn it off! We're about to run out of fuel. Day four, we're almost at Weeper, but we're going to anchor out at Para Heads for the night as we won't make it in on time without motoring. And we've already used most of our fuel on board. <laughs> but we're happy to get back to Queensland. And on board to Weeper and then Mapoon and back to Cape York. It's actually the end of November right now when we're filming this. So by then it'll be the start of December and we'll be on the lookout for cyclones. But um, also it's a really good time to go out and see the reef. So Captain, what's been your experience of the golf crossing number two so far? I'd rather it when it was windy or rough. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. It's painful. Yeah. Blue is just hanging to go to a poo. It's been four days of boat poos. I'm sorry, bro. Sorry. <laughs> Soon, my bro. Soon. Ah, West Queensland. Home to the miners. The cowboys. And tanker after tanker. So saddle up because it's time to send it. Australia can. For the latest weather information for Northern Queensland and East Coast, Back in Queensland. First time we've had the radio go off in what months? <laughs> We just finished our four day crossing of the Gulf for the second time and we're here at Parahead Weeper <laughs> and we've got a drink and we're gonna have some dinner and go the to bed. Good night. So we slept off our passage blues and made our way into Weeper the next morning where we navigated tight traffic in the channel and prepared to make landfall. We're anchored here in Weeper on the Cora Bank. The freighters get really close to you, so if you ever anchor here, stay outside the channel markets. <laughs> but yeah, they've got a brand new dinghy dock here that was installed in 2021, I saw on the internet, with all the snappy snappies. So tomorrow we're gonna go to the dock and then I'm going to go into town, hopefully get a lift and get some provisions and also get some fuel from the servo, which is a kilometer away at. We're gonna make some pizzas, and chill out and watch the sunset. 
The stopover in Weeper was a short one, as we made our way up to the Torres Straits via Marpoon and were treated to some spectacular sights, as well as the odd fish or two. After our accidental overnight passage, we crossed into the Torres Straits, ready for the first rain of the season. Seisha, Seisia 2.0. And this time, we're actually getting into the channel without a struggle. Stacia and Cape York were another quick stopover as we were heading for Adolphus Island via Possession Island. Mount Adolphus Island is north of the tip of the mainland, home to one of Queensland's worst maritime disasters in history, the HMS Quetta that sunk in the year 1890. Here you need to play chicken with the highway of freighters and fast currents to get across. Up at Adolphus Island off Cape York. There's a big high tide at the moment and that's going to drop three meters and we've anchored a bit too close. So we've got four meters under us and then it's going to drop to I think like one or 1 1.5. So we do not have enough room. Adolphus Island where we are right now but we've got a tropical low system that's probably going to turn into nothing coming across from west to east and the weather's tending what's well, changing a little bit earlier than what we thought it was going to so we're just going to head off to Escape River where we went last season get ready to do an overnight or maybe two maybe three overnights <laughs> um, down to Cooktown and possibly even Port Douglas but we'll see how we go. So there's going to be a lot of sailing in this next episode. Come along with us next episode as we make our way back down the east coast towards Cooktown. The friends I made and then you tell me how you've been. Look a little closer, it's been quite some time. But you got to let me know if I'm out of line. Some words that I just want to say To put it all straight before this night turns into day And then I'm on my way Yes, I'm on my way Blue, what's been your experience crossing the Gulf so far, mate? Well, you know, I really needed to take a shit, Mum, and I just couldn't because we were moving. And today was the best day of my life because we went and I took shit on land. Because my life's great as a dog. Yeah. <laughs> so Ben's just so Ben's just gone down to sleep. Can you just move it away so that there's not this chemical? Like... <laughs> there's not even far enough away to be acceptable. <laughs> so 
stay within the channel markers. <laughs> Oh, stay outside the channel markers. <laughs> Clearly the heat is making me go a little bit local. Sorry. 